Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? Today, we're going to be talking about the Joel Embiid layup style in NBA 2K24, and I have mixed opinions about this Joel Embiid layup style. So, first off, you get it at 78 driving layup, which you also get the Jokic and the Saboner. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I made videos talking about those layup styles. I do prefer those over the Embiid, but the only reason for that is because of the floaters in those packages. Now, I think the Euros, the Hop Steps, the spins. I think pretty much everything is better with the Embiid. And when it comes to the floater in the Embiid layup style, it's still good. So you would think all of that together would make me prefer this layup style. But I'm just somebody that loves those super far, those super floaty floater animations that those layup styles get. I feel like Joel Embiid is a lot more realistic. Now, that's not in a bad way. It's still a usable animation, but the way those are so glitchy, the way people freak out whenever you hit those animations on them, I feel like that is something that the Joel Embiid layup style does not do. Now, if you're somebody that does not care too much about floaters, if you are a big man, you're trying to do more, you know, Euros, X button layups, especially X or square button layups, scoopers, anything else, this is the package for you. And I'm going to let you guys see it in today's video. This is so much of a faster animation. And look at this, man. You cannot play defense in NBA 2K24 without fouling somebody. I am fouling people nonstop. So starting right off you see i go to the euro reverse layup right here it looks pretty clean and i was starting to change my mind as i was playing with this joel Embiid layup style check this out too i'm going to do the Embiid floater he tries going for a reach he can't get it right over this man's head it gets contested horrible take but i'm able to green a 67 percent red and he hits me with a physical handles animation right there I definitely feel like I don't see people utilizing that badge much this year. I'm going to have to make a video talking about it right here. Going to hit him with a quick hop step, but I'm going to get a contact dunk out of it. And if you have a bunch of layup badges, it's going to help you get dunks out of those. Just like right here, I hit him with a spin. That is spin cycle. Unfortunately for this video, I didn't have all these layup badges on Hall of Fame. I didn't even have Pro Touch on Hall of Fame. I'm going to make videos talking about how powerful those badges can be. I'm sure you guys can already imagine because you see everything I'm hitting with these videos I have been making right here. I get a bit of a step on them that says wide open. Like I said, these animations are quicker than the Sabonis and the Jokic layup style. So maybe where they would get contested, even though you can still hit those contested layups, this one might stay open. I'm on a 6 foot 11 build that doesn't have any dribbling besides this normal dribble style. I am absolutely making it work. You see, I'm getting small defenders on me. If somebody doesn't have block or interior, or even more so than that. If somebody looks like they are small, they're definitely not going to have block. They're definitely not going to have interior. So you can just take the layups at their head. That is the best time to do layups. I feel like players will try to do layups, you know, Euro steps, X button layups right on a center with 92 block, gold anchor. And then they get upset. They feel like layup is not worth it. When in those situations, that's when you should be doing the floaters. That's when you should be doing, you know, those quick scooper, getting around them animations. You you should never try to go for a contested layup at a center and expect something good to happen. Now, it can happen as I get past him with a hop step right here. You can get lucky. You can green them. But most of the time, those are going to get swatted. Whereas with these, he's never going to get a block. He's never going to get a contest. I get a fast floater animation to pop off right there. And I nearly mistime it. That would have been so bad. There's nothing worse than mistiming a big meter layup or a big meter dunk i've done it a couple of times and it was definitely noticeable check this out right here the green window looks like it shrunk but it ends up being green anyway it says open that is another thing with layups i'm sure you guys have noticed you have a big green window then it disappears all of a sudden or you have a small window and it just comes big giant green out of nowhere that's just how layups are this year I take my meter off for the most part to kind of just look at the animations. I feel like if you focus too much on just the meter and that comes to jump shots and the layup, it's going to cause you to mistime it. Now, that's not saying I think the boost with it off is the biggest factor because I absolutely don't. I mean, I can turn on my layup meter. I can turn on my jump shot meter just so you guys can kind of see it in game, see how big the green window is. But that is not the main thing that my eyes are focused on right here. Going to the left, going to the right, you're going to notice in some of these endings of these gameplays now too, 
I start getting a bunch of open shots because they're trying to guard the layup. Check this out too. Bulldozer animation. Obviously, Bulldozer pops up the most on layups. Sometimes you'll get it to pop up on dunks, but if you're going for a layup, there is a lot more of a chance of it happening right here. He's trying to do the same to me, but... You know, I'm six foot eleven. That's a lot different. Even though I don't have block or interior on this certain build I'm using crazy enough, I'm still able to get in good position. But if he had super high layup, it would be a different story. Check this out, man. Euro right through the man. What a beautiful animation. I'm way more high on the Joel and B layup style now that I recorded this video. Before I am, when I was just shooting around in the Gatorade facility, I was not, you know. I was probably going to say it was an easily third compared to the Jokic and the Sabonis. But now, I think they're all pretty well grouped together. It just depends what your play style is when it comes to these layups. Let me know what you guys think about the Joel Embiid layup style. If you put it on, if you have been using it, and this is Tonic, man. I will catch you guys in the next one. If you do want to drop a like and subscribe, of course, I do appreciate it a ton. And I'm out. Peace.